So we are here with Josh from Tough Enough backstage at TakeOver. And Josh, I have to ask you, I heard that you have really good rhythm and that you've been writing raps in your free time. Uh, so yeah. can you bust one out or what, is, what inspired all of this? No, yeah, I mean, I definitely have the rhythm, you know, like I don't know what it is or why. I didn't really learn it at any certain time. I just, uh, something I, I guess I had from the get. But yeah, I, I don't know if I have a rap for you right now, you know. <laughs> I definitely uh, dabbled with that more in college. Now I've just been focusing on, you know, like cutting promos and just, you know, bring the sauce out, like I've been saying. So, yeah. you know, I'm just really trying to get rid of this competition. We got f uh, three days left now. Tuesday's a big day. So, you know, I'm just hoping the Yeti Nation will stand up and, you know, do what's right and keep me, keep me in this thing because I'm, I'm looking to make this into a nice career. You know, I, I, since I've been here, my passion for the, this business and doing what I'm doing has grown exponentially, you know, yeah. so everything I'm doing right now, every little detail, I'm just trying to make sure it's going to set me up for the best future right now. Yeah, you've yeah. been bit by the bug. I've been bit by the bug without a doubt, you know, <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm obsessed, I'm affected, whatever you want to say, I'm in here. Yeah, do you yeah. think that your rap writing skills from past has helped you with promo writing? Yeah, and I don't really know why that started, I guess, growing up in Colorado, you know, the people, like, the uh, the demographic I grew up in like just kind of naturally brought that out in me and uh, I definitely feel like that something that can help me you know just flow and just like spew some gold out to whenever I need to talk for something spur of the moment you know I'll just start you know laying it down if I have yeah. to so it's, yeah and that definitely is going to help in hand with promos so yeah yeah and then obviously we are backstage yeah. at Takeover so. We've seen a lot of uh, wrestlers from NXT watch you guys on the show. Oh, yeah. um, so who are some of your favorites watching them? Okay, yeah. Um, so when it comes to the NXT roster, you know, at first you could definitely tell that there was a little, like, strange vibe between us, and you have to, like, really earn your keep. You know, they're not going to roll over and just say, you know, the, um, you deserve our respect. You know, yeah. it's, it's going to be something that you got to earn. But after, you know, time and time again, showing up the PC and working hard, you know, I've seen a couple guys, but, like, some of my favorites right now are, I would have to say, Mojo, without a doubt, you know, because I, I like his energy. I really yeah. vibe that big, that big-time energy. Um, you know, there's a lot of good guys, like Apollo Crews coming up. I really respect him in the ring, watching him. You know, they got the villains. Like, they're something new, dynamic. So, I don't know, like, when we go to the NXT Orlando shows, it's always a great time. So, everyone, yeah. everyone's doing their own thing. I, I really, I know, I respect it all. Great guys. Well, we wish you luck, and we usually say buzzy later at the end of this, but I feel like I want, a, yeah, I want a Yeti call. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, yeah, that's that's completely appropriate. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Do you, yeah, can you do one first? Let me see. If, let me see your, I can't see do it. Let's see her you didn't do the rap. I'm not going to do the Yeti oh, call. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Real, real, one uh, Yeti call for the Yeti Nation real quick. I need you all to stand up and vote for me Tuesday night, 8 p.m. USA Network. <laughs> There you go, baby. Awesome. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You <laughs>